Alright, as I have found out, they revamped the quest and it's unclear if the ghosts are still there. I saw some weird flashes, but no ghosts appear. I scavenged through the entire cove once or twice. I don't have time for that. So essentially, I'm gonna go and. Um, sell the stuff I don't need. And then uh, teleport to the lighthouse for that quest. Oh, before we're gonna go to Mayor and give Sam his collar so that we can resolve another quest. Greetings, these. Well, Source Hunter, you come to the right place, you have. I got every style of equipment to fit you from head to foot, if it's a trade you're after. this out. Yes. And quite honestly, I could use a helmet. As for any other kits, I don't think we need it, although, who knows. Still way too much stuff. I mean, Bloodstone, Inert, Wooden Wand, I could sell. Well, Source Hunter, you come to the right place, you have. I got every style of equipment to fit you from head to foot, if it's a trade you're after. Uh, I very specifically do not see Bloodstone as being sellable. Oh well. Roderick is our guy with cash. Am I gonna use it? One handed, one handed. I mean, heavy crossbow, no, I won't be using that.
Well, Source Hunter, you come to the right place, you have. I got every style of equipment to fit you from head to foot, if it's a trade you're after. Wow, that apparently is worth quite a lot. Well, Source Hunter, Sorry, you I come to the right place, you have. I got every style of equipment to fit you from head to foot, if it's a trade you're after. Okay, now that we have done this... Yes, I might wonder why am I keeping so much stuff? Technically, I'm still wondering if I should be using Heavy Cross War or this. Um, I mean, I'm using like slashing, I mean, it's also slashing, so I should probably, probably also sell that. Why we give her that? What's with you, bipeds and beer? No better drink than milk. Wink, whiskers! You found my collar? Oh, thank you! Bless you! I shall don it right this instant and hie me to Maxine as fast as my paws can carry me. You have made me the happiest cat in the world! Indeed you have! Brought with a whale of the good stuff. Toe of snake, wing of worm, brew and spice them. Maxine, my love, look at me. I am wearing it. The collar I told you about, the one you told me was but the fancy of a dream. Here it is. A band of jewels, such as no one in Sicil has ever beheld. Dear me, that choker looks absolutely fabulous on you. Simply smashing. I can't believe it's real. Oh, darling Sam, you are a Tom of Means after all. <laughs> that I am, my little tigress. Behold my true color and marry me. Make me yours, and my very life I shall dedicate to your happiness. <laughs> oh, what a passionate puss you are, my darling Sam. As impetuous as ever. But indeed, you do seem to have the right and reason to be. Oh, I shall hold you in suspense no longer. Yes, my dear Sam, I will marry you. With a word, you have stopped my heart and set it beating anew with untold vigor. Come, my love, my... Lean-tailed lady, by the fire of the hearth, let us lie and purr the night away. And so Sam's story has a happy end after all. There was quite a bit of troubled water to be crossed, but in the end, Maxine turns out to really love him. So she does. They would have ended up together no matter what, I think, collar or no. 
It is a pity indeed to see how this treasure of a cat, this pinnacle of nature's beauty, has been corrupted by the wretched moors of man. Base materialism has darkened the purity of her soul and has seized the very throne where love should rest. Let the story of Sam and his beloved serve as an example of this bitter truth. Between two humans, no love is unconditional. So strongly does this sad depravity seep from our every pore that it adulterates the innocence of what should be stainless spirits. We suffer from the inability to bestow love devoid of logic, devotion devoid of design. Wealth, status, prestige, the carnality of flesh and fortune, those are the true motivators of the affections between a woman and a man. Love. It is the name we give a base ambition, a delusion we blindly compel to be true and therefore falsely hold to be absolute. Pity love, and be wary of her too, for she is but a deception. Ha! A cynic, am I? I shall not deny that my mind, too, was puerile once. That I, too, loved a woman with all my soul, believing her to be... To be... Ah, enough! Forget what I said. Dig love a grave, and there let it rot. Careful, comrades. I've seen sorcerers infuse even lowly fowl with dark enchantments. Do re mi fa so la ti... Oh, excuse me, I'm, I'm trying to prepare for the next show. I doubt I have to tell you that I am the amazing singing Stefan, the only sentient severed head in Sicil. My audience sings my praises from Hill and Dale. Psst! You, 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 you're a source hunter, aren't you? Oh, bless the seven. Oh, you've got to help me. I've been kidnapped. Um, a pleasure to meet you. Now, please, uh, Stefan has many fans to meet today. Psst, now help me. Take me to Reginald's cellar. There I will reveal everything. It won't be the worst indignation I've suffered. Get on with it, then. You look like an actor I mean, just Reginald waiting for his big so debut. Uh, uh, which is it actually? Come on! Come on! Can't you hear the stage calling you? The best in Sicil! The best! Uh, um. One coin or two, noble spirit? One coin or two? Oh, I am a happy man, and certainly a humble one now. Ah, a fool once was I, and ever seeking greater satisfaction than that which I already enjoyed. I'd heard they were not to be trusted, that they told me that I would find fame and renown if I renounced my worldly possessions, all my worldly possessions, and became a great figure of piety and humility. Fire, the most thorough cleanser, was my method. So, those statues told him he'd have to renounce his earthly possessions to become a spiritual leader, did they? Absurd. Since when is poverty a prerequisite of spirituality? Right. I'm... He's a con man! Right. Don't donate your time to that charlatan! I mean... Hmm, all right. Reginald Cellar. Where the um, fuck is he Cellar? Well... Tis I, uh, Reginald the uh, Illusionist! Uh, <clears throat> can you spare a, a coin? To Reg not here, not now. We'll be better off speaking. You know the healer's clinic, don't... 
He's a con man! He keeps a spare key right near the place in a... Not here, not now. It won't be the worst in... A coin. Did something. Oh, what's that gleam? Not here, not now. We'll be better off speaking in the privacy of the cellar. Not here, not now. It won't be... on the prize. Ah, oh, a little privacy at last. Out of earshot of that contemptible jester, we can finally speak freely. Where shall we begin? My true name is Nick. In life, I was an entertainer aboard the ship of the famed Pontius Pirate. Little did I know the abuse was only beginning. When I asked him to return my head to my body, it, it must be in the Black Cove still, he became enraged and tossed my head into the sea. Reginald stumbled upon me some days later and consigned me into his horrid little show. I know not how long I've been entertaining slack-jawed imbeciles at the Sci Seal Fair. All I know is I just can't take you anymore. That charlatan doesn't have a lick of his own talent. So he begs, borrows and beats it from those of us with a real vision for the stage. What I wouldn't give to give old Reggie a swift kick in the jugglers. Oh, to have legs again. More than anything. But the chances are so slim with the Black Cove utterly infested with Pontius's undead cronies. My poor lost body is among them sightless and silent in their vile company. Traveller, if there were any way you would brave the cove's depths and reunite me with myself, you'd be doing me the only kindness I'd have received in as long as my poor memory serves. It won't be the worst. The body stirs, so this is what's to become of me. Nick's body grows cold, then hot. Toes? Legs? Arms? Fingers? A, a bit more rotten than when I last saw them, but who am I to look a gift self in the mouth? Oh, the feeling of air in my minimally perforated lungs. Of, well, not quite blood, but lovely ooze pumping through my only moderately decayed veins. What a joy it is, my friend. What an absolute joy. Now for my last unfinished business. Pontius Pirate. 
the animal who consigned me to the peanut-crunching masses. I won't rest until his skull cracks beneath my foot. Dead. Dead and dead for good. Never to rise again. You're very certain. Well, I would have loved to see him collapse to dust myself. But your assurance is most satisfactory. With my head back on my shoulders and my foes defeated, I owe you a large debt of gratitude, my friend. Here is my pledge to you, then. Your enemies from now and forevermore shall be as my own. Call me when you will, where you will, and I will fight beside you. I'm dying to try out my right hook, now that I've got arms again after all. Until we meet again, Source Hunter, I remain your humble bodyguard eager for your summons. It was Source that drove Pontius mad, yet it is Source that has kept Nick alive to fight his old foe. Though we are sworn to eliminate it, there is more to Source than simple evil. Indeed. The Academy taught us far from all there is to know about this strange magic. Desdemona, my love, I should have known you would never betray me. I should have known your love to be as constant as the sky. And yet, look at us now. Not even death could impede our reunion. I beg of you, my love, forgive me. You, you've heard the whole story by now. Perhaps you can help me settle my mind. Half of me is furious and the other half is... Utterly enraged. What do you think of my murderer husband? Desdemona is under no obligation to forgive her murderer, no matter how sorry he may be. Why perpetuate anger and rage? Desdemona should forgive the sorry soul. Need I remind you that Samson killed not just Desdemona, but an entire ship full of people? He'll need- I've often admired you for your patience and humility. I hope that doesn't have to change. All right, we'll do it your way. I suppose. I suppose you're right. The deed is done, and I can do naught but move forward now. Samson, I do forgive you. I do. Your shining soul, my love. From its incomparable purity, even the diamond hides its dull complexion in shame. The nightmare is at an end. We are together again and shall remain so evermore. Yes, the past is the past, my darling. Let's go forward together now, hand in hand into the next life. These ghosts are fools if they think they'll find happiness now. New betrayal awaits, even in death. Come on, grumps. It ain't so dire as all that. 
They'll probably kick off their ghostly boots and have a nice time of eternity. Okay, what are you supposed to do next? Um, oh, I know. I need to go for the... Okay. No, where were they? A good day to you. Beyond these walls, the dead Major Nair, your word is my Excellent. This haunted yard is terrifying enough without you scaring the marrow out of me. To answer your question, my, I suspect the eerie... Oh, what I... Phew, thought I had my... Hardly if I tried to say... You're alive. Heart, but you'll run into the entrance if you keep along this road. Though I wouldn't recommend it if you value keeping your skin attached to your face. Lava. Hellfire. Did you hear that? It's just the wind, Glossius. Cool your boots. Why don't you get on back to Sysil while you still can? There's nothing can be done in this godforsaken. Well, we agree near the bridge, same as one of never, but it was only.
times will make you pure! Rumbles my foe tumbles! will make you pure! Stands of the Stunch! Plummeting arrow! Stay put! Come 
Why didn't I call you home to us? Meet your demand! Yourself to us. Tinder ignites. I burn. Cut red. to the bone. 